encourage all the people from your surrounding to go outside. Students, as per the university guidelines, we have to complete the syllabus through online and I am going to take some lectures through this video lectures. Video. So I hope that you all will enjoy these lectures. If you have any doubts, any queries, you can personally contact me or you can watch them. Students, our corporate final subject already we have completed our three chapters. And now we have started the fourth chapter. Cost of capital. Cost of capital means what? Minimum rate required on employee capital. Whenever the businessman need a fund, he may borrow the fund from the banks. He may raise the fund from the capital market to increase shares or to return shares. Or maybe he may use his accumulated profit. But whatever fund raised for the capital expenditure purpose or for other activity purpose need to pay some return annually. And that is for cost of capital. And also I explain the elements of cost of capital. So the every businessman who raise funds through different different sources need to pay minimum rate the reward of that capital. And that aggregate is known as cost of capital. So it may be equity share capital, preference share capital, accumulated resource or debt capital. Now we have solved the problem, so I request all students before watching this video, I will request you please go through our past explanation, whatever question we solved in our past lectures in offline mode, and then you please watch this video and the other e mode of lectures. So students, I will request you please open your textbook, go to page number one ninety. Question number 27. Page number 190. Question number 27. The page number of question number may differ edition to edition wise. So I will read the question and then you please check the question wherever you found. So, question number 27. The capital structure of a company as on 31st March 2014 is as follows. Equity capital 6 lakhs, equity shares of rupees 100 each, total amount 6 crore, reserve surplus 1 crore 20 lakhs, 20% debentures 1 crore 80 lakhs. For the year 31st March 2014, the company has paid equity dividend at the rate 24%. Dividend is likely to grow by 5%. Income tax rate applicable to the company is 30 percent. Required compute the current weighted average cost of capital. Second, the company has to raise further rupees per crore by way of long term loan at 18 percent interest. If loan is raised, the market price of equity share is expected to fall to rupees 500 per share. Currently, it is 600 rupees. What will be the So we have to solve this problem with two angles. First with the existing information and then after with the predicted information. So I will first solve the part one of this question. So as you know that we are having source for equity capital. Equity capital, six crore. Reservation surplus. Six 
how much will come? Can anyone tell me? Yes, 5.02. Yes, 1.00. Eight point four into fifty. Eight point four into fifty. So it will come to one point twenty six. You are having calculated. Please calculate and compute it. You will get the value. And here it will come three point fifty. Make the total. Eight three one three four. Yes. Six seven ten point forty. So ten point forty three is our new weighted average. Now this question will come in the examination for 15 marks. Where you see two areas are there, existing and ready. Thank you very much. Now next question is question number 30, page number 193. As I told earlier, the question number as well as page number 24, addition to addition question. So question number 30. Now in this question, some Different parties there will be able to the cost of capital on the basis of book value as well as market value. Now, question number 30. Let us discuss the capital structure of JDB. Equity share capital of equity stage, total amount 1 crore, means the number of equity shares are 10 lakhs, and the best value to have stages. 9% preference shares of equity is 100 each, 30 lakhs. If there is no information, Equity share. One crore. Even 
Clear? Now the part of debating. Debating are some reasonable in nature. Cost of debating already formula is given. So I one minus t plus <coughs> yes. Redeemable value minus net proceed divided by n. Redeemable value plus net proceed divided by 2 into 100. This is the simple formula for calculation of cost of redeemable take capital. Now, cost of take is 14 percent as mentioned in the problem. 14 percent. And Plus redeemable value. Problem tells us that the ventures are redeemable at par and having 4% production cost after 10 years. So redeemable value is 100. But we are getting 4 percentage less, means 100 minus 4 percentage, that is for 96 years. Divided by same redeemable value, which is 100, 96. Divided by 2 into 100. So you just compute the equation, you will get the cost 10.41%. 10.41%. 10.41%. Okay, okay. 